This video will describe the setup dialog for the text generation screen. And when we look here, let's start with the text output instructions. There are three options, save the text. When we have that option selected, there's only one table here. And if we click to the generate button now, TBTA would generate this passage. And each time it generates a new verse, it will save that text. If you've already generated that passage, the old version will be erased and the new version will be saved. So that's what save the text option means. If we say compare new text with save text, we notice several changes. First, there are two tables now, one for the saved text and one for the new text. When you choose this option and you generate a passage, the new text isn't saved. TBTA will, dis will display the saved text and the new text, and if there are differences, those will be displayed in red. For example, we can say load verses that have differences. So here, um, all the verses that have differences have been saved, and the, and the differences are highlighted in red. Um, another option here is load verses marked as residue. A, a subsequent video will describe these two videos, these two buttons. But when we say uh, compare new text with saved, there are two windows and that your text won't be saved. But whenever there are differences, those verses will be saved, the new version and the old version, and then you can decide, is the new, new version better or is it worse than the old? And we recommend you do this in a new project at least once a chapter. After you have everything in your lexicon and your grammar set up properly, you generate a chapter of text and you save it. Then you start working on the next chapter and you'll be editing some of the rules. And sometimes those edits, they'll, they'll be fine for the new chapter you're working on, but they might adversely affect something in the previous chapter or the, or the saved text. So you should come here occasionally and compare your, your saved text with your new text just to make sure that all of the changes in your lexicon and grammar are, are correct. Even for English, I come here and occasionally uh, compare the text. I regenerate all of the passages and compare the saved text with the new text just to make sure that the changes I've made to the lexicon and grammar haven't adversely affected uh, other verses. So that's compare new text with saved text. The third option is for demo. When we choose that option, there's again just one table. And if we click to generate now, TBTA would generate the passage but the text won't be saved. We at All The Word, we use this option when we're making videos and that sort of thing. That's what demo means. Uh, let's go back to compare new with saved and also check this option, display English. When we do that, now there are three tables. One for the saved English text. Uh, when you're working in another language, it, sometimes it's nice to see what the English text says. So you have one table for English, and then one for your saved target language text, and one for your new target language text. Now let's talk about these options down here. Record references and rules. And as soon as we check this option, this checkbox is also enabled. Count new rules per chapter. And let's talk about these three. Our record references and rules. Count new rules per chapter and record references and verb forms. Okay, when we check these, the first thing we'll notice is that this is highlighted in red now. And the reason is because when you record references and rules or record references and ver verb forms, that significantly slows down the translation process. What that means is, uh, let's go to the lexicon and verbs, and we select the forms view. Now, TBTA will save the references where each form is used. And uh, it, it will save approximately the first 25 references. So you can see here, okay, some verb forms haven't been used. This one has never been used. Okay, this one has been used one time in Philippians 4.8. Some verbs are used a lot. Uh, some verbs are used very rarely. But this will save approximately the first 25 references where, you've, where a verb form is used. And this is useful. Uh, we don't use this in English, but if you're working in a language where the verb forms are very complex, and sometimes you're wondering if a particular form is correct, and you wonder, have we actually used that form in a verse somewhere? Well, this will tell you all the places 
where a verb form has been used. And if a verb form has never been used, then you come here and you rest your cursor on it, and there's no pop-up, meaning this has never been used. So that's what we mean by record rule, record references in verb forms. For record references in rules, okay, every type of rule has an option. We'll look at a, a few types here. Every type of rule has this down here, references and this drop list. Okay, this is a phrase builder rule where each row is considered a separate rule. So when we click on this row, here are all the references, not all, the first approximately 25 references where this, this row was used. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's past affirmative. Uh, past emphatic affirmative has its own references, okay, only one time. Genesis 18, 15. Yahweh said to Sarah, you certainly laughed. That's a past emphatic affirmative. Past emphatic negative has been used twice. So each row has its own set of references. Now, uh, if we click OK, if we edit a rule, then that can change the places where it applies. So all of those references will be erased. So I don't want to say OK. I want to say cancel. I haven't edited the rule. And I want to save those references. Uh, let's look at another one. For example, the theta grid adjustment rule for, for the verb to create. It has its own references. So it applied here. Uh, this is approximately the first 25 places. We can click on one. Uh, the highest God who created the heavens and the earth. So it saves approximately the first 25 places where this rule applies. And you can look at any of them that you want. So all of the types of rules have that option. And that's what we mean by save references in rules. Now another option, okay, when we say record references in rules, when you say that, when you first check that box, usually you want to clear the references from the rules, just so you get a clean start. Um, I don't want to erase the references, so I'm not going to click that button. But usually, before you record the references and rules, you clear them. Okay, count new rules per chapter. Uh, here, you can display the rule count per chapter, and it, TBTA will keep track of the number of new transfer rules per chapter, and the number of new synthesizing rules per chapter. And the point of this is, we used to create these tables. This is for Korean. And the number of new rules per chapter, the number of new transfer rules per chapter is, is shown in blue, and the number of new rules for the synthesizing grammar is shown in, in red or maroon. And what this table shows is, at the beginning we have to do a lot of work. We write many rules. But for each subsequent chapter of text, the amount of rules we have to write decreases, and eventually it goes to zero. So that's why we have that option. Uh, we can clear the table. I don't want to, so I won't. But if you want to start over and count the number of new rules per chapter, you would clear the table and then uh, count the new rules per chapter. And uh, when you record references in verb forms, usually before you start, you would clear all the references from the verb forms by clicking this button. So that's what the, the setup dialog for the generation text screen does.